Yes, so welcome um, to my PhD project. Introduce myself. My name is Tünde, Tünde Erdisch. I am based in Austria and I'm a full time executive coach since 2006. I'm doing my PhD because it grew organically out of my practice. So, what, what do we know? So, my question is really relating to what is it that we really, really know, not like concepts and, and so. So, now why look into synchrony and what is it? And now how do synchrony and, and presence relate? So, as I mentioned, so we, so our hypothesis is that when coaching clients spontaneously respond, and it goes like two ways, it's not just the coach that does the work, it's also the client, and the client responds Okay, now we are coming into what you wanted to hear, like how do we measure this? So um, first, like, I just wanted to mention again that in this study we are doing two predictions. The core element is self-regulation, nonverbal synchrony through body movement impacts self-regulatory capacities, like how you can regulate moment by moment, and how applied does that, and how that will impact their goal attainment. And we believe that this is it's going to go through the relationship. And I'd like to just show you like how it works, what we what we see if we ever have the time to watch this immense amount of data. <laughs> so actually it's evaluated, the data is coded uh, automatically. And down here you can see like two people, like red stands for one person and green for the other one. And what happens is that you see like when, when, when they are moving, we can see that the oscillations and then we will um, overlap and then see like how they are overlapping and how synchronous they are. And motion energy analysis measures the duration, the time, the time duration of nonverbal synchrony. It is difference in grayscale pixels. So we are looking into frames of pictures. We are not looking into quality of interactions. 